I was at Ibrahim Academy a long, long time ago. And, you know, being, being in that environment, I could see all the students at the college. And, you know, I was hearing a lot of good things about the college, especially about the Arabic intensive program at the time. And kind of since then, I've always wanted to join here. Uh, so in the, in the past year, in the past few years, I was at uni and, uh, you know, I, I kind of just needed a break from it. So I took a year out and that was just the perfect time to join here. So I decided it's the perfect opportunity to join Arabic Intensive. So I think in particular, there are a couple of things that I found especially good about Arabic Intensive that maybe I wouldn't necessarily expect. So one of the things is that the classes are pretty small, uh, you know, compared to a few other classes. There's maybe 15 or so people in our class. And what that means is that, you know, when you're in front of the teacher, you can actually talk to them as opposed to it just being a lecture and, you know, talking to a few students here and there. You actually, it's actually more of a dialogue between you and the teacher. And that makes it a lot easier to learn, especially when it's a difficult concept that you're going through. Uh, the second one is that there are quite a few topics that we've been going through that are uh, related to Arabic intensive that are more application based. So for example, we've been, uh, we've been going through a few books, uh, one about the Sira, for example, and that's in Arabic. Now, you know, the story itself, maybe a lot of us are familiar with, but actually going through that story and kind of applying what we've learned, uh, you know, to an Arabic text is very useful. I think uh, that's, that's one of the main things that a lot of us come to learn. Uh, when we come to Arabic intensive is to be able to engage with those kind of texts and to be able to do that directly rather than just doing that in your own time is uh, very useful. Before I came to EC, I was able to understand you know, Arabic to some degree. So for example, when I was reading through the Quran, I'd be able to understand this word means this, this word means that, this word means that, and I was able to kind of put the sentence together, but you know, coming, coming here and being able to understand how the language actually works. I was able to actually understand how sentences go together. And I was able to actually, you know, bring, you know, these words that, you know, maybe before I just had to kind of guess at how they fit together. Whereas now I can actually understand how they go together properly in a sentence and why they're written the way that they are.